What up everyone? Question. Is there a right way to pray to God? Or if you don't use that kind of language, how do you really ask the universe to get what you want? Because some people tend to get better results than others, right? So today I'm going to reveal to you what asking the universe or prayer really is, the Neville Goddard way. And I'll explain why many of your requests and prayer seem to get unanswered. And of course what you could do about it so you can manifest anything you desire. Let's do this. You see, when I was a lot younger, communicating with God took on different forms at times. Where some days I'd be asking God for things saying, God, can you do this for me? Or can you do that for me? And so on. Basically petitioning. But there'd also be days when since my prayers would go unanswered, my prayers of asking would turn into begging. Where I'd be crying or shouting out loud, please God, help me. And you know what? Despite all my tears, despite all my begging, still, nothing. God seemed silent. And I'd end up feeling really alone. Or to be straight up, it felt like God didn't even care. You know what I'm saying? Which was a sucky feeling. The thing is though, I didn't always feel that way. Because sometimes I did get what I wanted. Which would then restore my belief in prayer. But then on other days, once again, nothing. So what's up with that? So God seemed kind of random. And the answer that I got growing up from religious people was that when you pray, God has three responses for you. Yes, no, or not now. You heard that before? So in a way, based on that, I never really knew what to expect. For instance, when it seemed like nothing was happening, I'd wonder, is God saying no? Or is he just saying not yet, but it's still coming? So I'd be stinking confused. So I was kind of unstable in the sense that it would be hard to be confident at times, believing I'd get what I'd ask for. You know what I mean? But thankfully, you guys, not anymore. And if you can relate to my past experiences, then keep listening. This will change things for you. You see, whether you realize it or not, your state of consciousness is always being externalized. Always. Remember, we're only states of consciousness pushed out, right? Everything in this world. And if that's the case, that's why Neville's definition of prayer or asking the universe makes the most sense. He says that prayer, listen, is not petitioning. It's not begging. Rather, I love how it doesn't complicate things. Prayer is thanksgiving. It's thanksgiving. And why is it thanksgiving? Because you've already claimed your desire in consciousness. Translation, it's already yours. Because look, what manifesting your desires ultimately comes down to, ultimately, is not your words, okay? It ain't your words. Shoot, it's not even based on how desperate you are trying to get God's attention through your tears. What it comes down to is this. A radical change of attitude. A radical change of attitude. Because if you change your attitude, you'll change your state of consciousness. In other words, you have a responsibility, you guys. It's not just about talking to God, whatever your version of God is, asking for stuff, saying, okay, God, do whatever you want. There's nothing I can do. Nah, dude, you have an active role to play when it comes to manifesting. And this is where faith comes in. What's faith? Faith, according to the Bible, is the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Or as Neville puts it, faith is loyalty to unseen reality. Faith is loyalty to unseen reality. It's assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. You may not see what you want with your physical eyes, but you're still confident that it's already yours because you're seeing through the eyes of God, aka your imagination. Now check this out. If you persist in your assumption, the unseen reality, and you remain loyal to it, then guess what? It'll be objectified. Simple as that. But someone will say, Josh, stop elevating us humans. We're supposed to have faith in God. God's the one who's all-powerful, not us. Okay, sure, you can have faith in God. I ain't against that. But did you forget? You and God are one. You and the Father are one. So when you're talking to God, when you're communing with God, and this might trip some of you out, you're actually communing, believe it or not, with yourself, the depth of your own being, your essential being, who's seeing what you're doing and also hearing what you're inwardly saying, which is why you can say, thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Hi, yourself. Whatever's your lingo, because your assumption was heard. All right, real talk. You want something? You want to change your world? Seriously, what are you asking for? Whatever it is, you have a responsibility. You got to change your attitude, your state of consciousness. How do you do that? Ask yourself, what would I see if my world were changed? How would I see the world if it was exactly the way I want it to be? How would I see it? And then see it. In your mind's eye, construct a scene implying the fulfillment of your dream. 
that it's real, feeling its reality in your mind's eye. Don't worry about the how, just surrender completely to your father. Neville says, give thanks to him because it's already yours. And who's the father again? You are, the depth of your own being, your essential being, who not only hears and sees your assumption, but who also has the power to make it happen. And so from now on, folks, I want you to keep this in mind, that during those times when God seems silent and you're wondering if he hears you, know this, of course he hears you. Of course he hears you. Why? Because you hear you. You're one with God. Don't ever forget that. Remain loyal to your assumption. Okay? Then just watch. Neville says that in a way that you do not know, God, you, the deeper you, will make a way and externalize it. It'll be projected in your world because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Smash those buttons right now to help support this channel. And the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course I'll spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. Links in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.